Welcome back, friends. This is the half ass Crafter. I'm Laura, the half ass Crafter, and we're going to do some, well, some Winsbuckle magazine collage. So I have had this body floating around in my stash for a very long time. Um, I really like it. I like the way the movement of it. Uh, I'm not terribly keen on the shadows, but whatever. I could not for the life of me find a head that I liked. I don't really know why I cut a V in her. That doesn't make any sense. I think I may have done it because I think I needed her head for someone else, but I decided to keep her body. So that may be why that's there. So what I decided to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and stick her down. I have this background, I wanna stick her down. She doesn't have a neck, so I'm gonna give her a Diane Reevely neck and Diane does these like very skinny spindly necks. Uh, I've got her a belt of this beautiful diamond ring, ooh la la. And then I have this lady's head floating around because I thought about putting her on here like that, but it's a little big. Um, but I thought her eyes are actually perfect. They're, they are also in a shadow, but they are perfect size-wise for her face. So we're gonna use her eyes. We're just gonna do that right now before I change my mind because I have just been really hemming and hawing over this entire thing for uh, a very long time and it's been very annoying. I think I might keep this. Oh, I could totally use that, couldn't I? Yes. So we're gonna give her big eyes like that or maybe we'll cut them apart. Yeah, something like that. We'll figure that out. So I just need to stick this lady down because I have been messing with her for at least three weeks now and it's been very frustrating that I cannot commit to doing anything with her. I even went through all my other magazines to figure out like, is there somebody else that I want to put here? Do I want to use something else? Do I want to do something else? I almost threw her away a couple of times. That's how frustrated I've been with this whole thing. So she's going to go there and I need her to be down towards the bottom. So we're going to do that. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna help me pick out some more magazine collage images and we're going to make another person together. It will be so much fun. But I had to put this on video so that I would actually get around to making her. I don't know why I was having such a hard time with her. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes I have something and I'm like, yes, this is definitely what I wanna do. And then I'm like, do I though? And then I spend forever hemming and hawing over it and I can't make up my mind and it's very frustrating. I'm sure lots of you out there do that. So we're going to put her head on. So I took this Diane Reevely like really quick class on, you know, she like made three paper doll layouts really quickly. And um, it was a good class. If you don't do this and you're like, I need somebody to like walk me through these steps. I'm very lost. It's a good class. Uh, she didn't she didn't really go over anything that I wasn't already aware of, but she did say things that, you know, sometimes you know something that you need somebody else to like tell you about it. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That was, uh, that was kind of what that class was for me. It was like, yes, I know that what I need to do is get over myself. I know what I need to do. Ooh, that one got cut a little small. What I need to do is to just put stuff down on the paper and quit worrying about it. Because that was really the thing that she kept saying. She kept saying, you all worry too much about this. And I was like, oh, we do, Diane, we really do. We're just like such worriers. Because we all want to do it right. We want it to be good. We don't want to mess anything up because then what if we have to constantly look at our mistake over and over and over again? That's awful and terrible. Yeah, that's what we do. But Diane's like, just do it, whatever. I, the favorite quote in that whole class, and it's class number, oh, class number, what class number was it? 17? It's just the class. It's the, the like, you know, 19 US dollars or 16 British pounds. Um, it's a three hour class. It's not one of her courses. I think it was 17. Uh, I will try to remember to link it below if I can do that. Okay, there's her sad eyes. That's great. Uh, the one thing that she said was, 
you just have to keep doing this over and over. And if you do it and you don't like it, get over it and do it some more. And I was like, yes, get over it and do it some more. So we're going to get over it and we're just going to do it some more. And I'm going to give her a very skinny neck that has Here we go. That's her neck for right now. It'll be something else later and I'll doodle it and it'll be fun and it's fine. Okay, so we did it. I put her down. I needed uh, some emotional support humans in order to do that. So thank you very much for letting me do that. <sighs> Let's make a paper doll. Who wants to? I know you all do. Everybody's asked, when are you gonna make a paper doll? When are you gonna make a paper doll? Here we go. We're making a paper doll. We're gonna do it. I have a stack of magazines. We're gonna flip through them. I got this free. I, they just sent it to me and I was like, uh, I didn't subscribe to Town & Country and uh, they were like, here's your free issue courtesy of some coffee company. It's a coffee company that isn't even in Oregon, so I don't even know what that was all about, but whatever. Okay, I'll get to this one if we can't find anything in here because there is good stuff in there, but I want to hang on to it for some reason. I don't know why. I have no good reason for anything. What we want is a good body. She kind of has a good body. Um, it doesn't need to be a whole body. <gasps> I say it. I totally forgot. Fendi has a whole new campaign with this lady with half a body. So we're going to use her because how amazing will that be? Yes. We're going to have to cut off her head. I think we're going to cut down there. Okay. That might be a little difficult, but that's okay. We're going to do it. That's the body. And then we need, uh, I really like her. She just, that's such a good face. It's all squinchy. I like a good squinchy face. I'm not sure why. Uh, we need a bigger head. So here's what I like to do with heads. If you don't know, I like to take a head that's about twice the size of this head. So I'll look at the head that's on the person, that's on the body I want to use. And I want one that's about twice that size. So if we take this brush here, her head is about that big. So one, two. So this head is big enough. So that's how I do it. Uh, she does have all of this hair, but that's not terrible. She's actually in the exact same tilty position as this lady. Okay, she's a maybe. Let's let's put, let's see what else we can find, because I know I can't just take everything out of the front. Jeez. Ooh, look at that. That's a good crown. That's a great crown. Maybe we'll give her a crown. I don't know that we'll have room for a crown. We could not give her legs, and we could give her a crown, and we could make her head really stand out. Okay, let's mark this too. Um, I have all this ephemera over here. Okay. We could give her a cat. Meow. Good thing my cat's not in here because she would meow back at me. She's out in the shop or the barn because she's a barn cat. That's why she is a, uh, a very posh barn cat is a friendly way of putting that. That's Simone Biles. I remember watching her in the 96 Olympics. And I was just like, she's amazing. I don't know who this is or what he's done wrong, but it's probably something <sighs> scandalous. What's this? I like games. Oh, the New York Times. Yeah. I know. I know some people who work at the New York Times. Some people work in the games division at the New York Times, actually. None of them are in this magazine. I do not know fancy people. I mean, I think they're fancy because they're my friends, uh, but the world does not believe them to be fancy. What if we put Conan's big noggin on her head? That would be so silly, but then people would be like, you just use Conan. And I would be like, you are not wrong. Okay, so we've got a couple of maybes in there. I'm gonna set this off to the side because we have to keep going. I have all of these. I haven't looked through my magazines in a very long time because I've been so busy with, I did Defemma Rember and then I did all of the junk journal things and I was like busy doing this, that, and the other. And ooh, what about her pretty face? Hmm, she's, I like her, Oops. maybe. What I'm waiting for is I'm waiting to see something and I go, that's the one, that's the person, like I did with her. I was like, oh yeah, I wanna use her. That's the person, that's the body. Will she still have that purse? We don't know. We don't know if she's gonna still have that purse. She may or may not. All right. Still going. Ooh. That would be interesting. I wish that these were bigger. These are great. I don't know why they do these little tiny pictures in a fashion magazine and then 
I, this this is absolutely boring. It is a thing of laundry detergent. I am not interested in what a massive thing of laundry detergent looks like. Okay, I marked her for her body because that's a big body. It's another gymnast. Oh, look at her. I heard her speak on a show and it was so good. Oh, I like her arms. Those are good arms. I like that whole dress. Ooh. That head is about the same size as that head, isn't it? Let's, let's do this. So we can better see what we're working with. That way, we can put her head up against that head and we can be like, eh. I mean, that might be okay. Let's do a maybe and see if we can find anything else. And that's a good body, why didn't I mark that? I swear, they have to put their, they, these legs have got to be longer than they actually are. Oh, clearly I liked a lot of her outfits. All right, I need a big head. Her head, I mean, I'm gonna color a lot of her. I wish that she was turned just a bit more. She's kind of in a shadow. It's a little dark, the lighting isn't great. I need better lighting. Hmm, no, she's kind of looking down. Although these would make a good neck, this would make a good crown. <clears throat> Same lady, bigger picture. She's actually a little bit bigger in that picture, I think. She's also a different skin tone. Hmm. Yeah, that's a choice. Ooh, that's a nice profile. I still want to do some profile ladies with some wacky hair, feathers or something. Maybe I could like put purses as their hair, that sort of thing. Aren't those cute? My husband thought that this was actually um, a sh purse that was shaped like a boot. He thought it was like one piece, like a whole purse that people would actually carry. I mean, you know, he didn't have his glasses on. Her head is definitely big enough. And I feel like in one of these, well, we're not gonna look through that because that's a collage book. I feel like in one of these magazines that I have, there's a bunch of her and a bunch of different Tiffany ads. She doesn't look like a real human though. I feel like they really photoshopped her a lot. Like, I just don't know that those teeth are the correct size. Could we give her a man head? Probably not. He's got his hand up on his face. Get your hands off of your face. Stop touching your face. Remember when we were kids? It was all the rage. Don't touch your face or you'll break out. I don't know if that was true. <gasps> oh, she's gonna be too tall. Hang on. She will work, and I love this picture. I would cut off her hat right there, though. Let's see. If I put her way down here. Okay, okay. It would work. All right, this is what's happening. We're doing her. Ugh, I really wanted to gel plate this. It's fine. I have a thousand other magazines and other things to gel plate. Okay, so. This is what we're doing. We don't even need to travel in leisure. Look how easy that was. I'm gonna cut her out. We're gonna use her head and we're gonna put it all together and then we're gonna doodle. She needs bigger eyes. Is her head big enough? I just realized. I mean, with the hat it is, but is it gonna be big enough to like, hmm, hang on. So another thing that Diane Reedley said, which I thought was very profound, was she said, people ask her, how do you choose your people? How do you do this? She said, I just choose things that are funny. And I was like, yes, that is brilliant. If it makes you giggle, use it. All right, we're using, ooh, we're using her. What was the other one that we, oh yeah, her. Oh, her neck is at a weird angle for this picture. Okay, let's see what we've got. She's getting a haircut because I'm gonna draw her some new hair in. So. Will that make me giggle? I mean, it's pretty dang good. That is two thumbs up. All right, I'm gonna cut these out. We will come back. We will stick them down. Okay, so I've got, I might do an actual border. Um, I've been watching, again, I think I told you all this, but I've been watching a lot of Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life, and she does a lot of borders. And uh, okay, so I've got her cut out. I will also say that Diane Reedley cuts people out super fast. 
she's like a fussy cutting champion. Oh, here's the lady that has like all of these Tiffany ads. So what I'm looking for now is I think I want to give her some big eyes. So I am going to look and see if I can find any very big eyes because these are gonna have to be massive eyes. Aren't these great? She's good. I'm gonna have to use her head in something one day. Um, oh, look, Julia Roberts has big eyes. Are they bigger than her eyes? Is the question. Oh, they are. Okay, Julia, honey, I've seen you in all of these ads. Finally, you were coming in handy for me. She just has such a distinctive look. You can't really, you just can't really collage Julia Roberts without somebody going, oh, you used Julia Roberts. And we'd be like, yes, I did in fact use Julia Roberts. She went to high school in the same county that I grew up in. And she went to one of our rival schools. She's older than I am, in case you were curious. Oh, I love that. Let's cut off some of her forehead. That's a lot. It's a lot of forehead there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's really interesting, isn't it? I like that she's black and white and that's black and white. And this is very good. And we're going to doodle her eyes. So don't worry too much about it. But I like that a lot. Okay, where's my book? So we have our lady here. Let's see how much of her we can fit on this page. So we have this lady and this is going to go like that. I actually want her tilted a little. So I want this straight. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love her. I love her so much. Do we want to give her like a big haircut or do we actually kind of want to keep this hair? I kind of like her hair. I kind of like all of it. Let's glue her eyes down. We're going to work from front to back. Are we good with these eyes or do we want to trim them up a little? Maybe we can trim them up a little. Yes. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We have done this kind of Diane Reevely style in that we are listening to Diane when she says, stop overthinking it. We're not going to overthink it anymore. We're just going to do it. And if we don't, if we end up not liking it, then you know what we're going to do? Get over it and do another one. Whoops, don't glue her hand down yet. Her hand has to go over her face. My husband and I have been watching this documentary on uh, the 80s lately. It's from CNN. I don't know if any of y'all have seen it, but it's really interesting because I was a very small child in the 80s. And so when I watch stuff like this, I'm like, I'm sorry, what was happening? How did our parents not freak out? And why in the world did we have children? All right, I'm going to put her, whoa. I'm going to put her, I kind of want to, yeah, I'm just going to put her right here. I'm so glad that I'm using these backgrounds too. We will also do a video on just making backgrounds because I know that I have some viewers out there who can't really do paint and they don't really want to get dirty or, well not and, or they don't want to get dirty. Like there's some people who are like, oh, I don't want to deal with like inks and paints and all of that. And so what I want to do is I want to give people the option of how to make backgrounds with all sorts of things. There we go. Okay, we've got them done. Look at this. So I have one lady with broken sad eyes, as Tara Jacobson calls them, which I think is true. Uh, and then I have a lady here with bigger eyes. They're a little squinchy, um, but that's okay because I'm going to make them much bigger than they are. And I think I'll even use some of my little die cut eyelashes on them. We'll see. I have to use those eyelashes up. They just keep floating around my desk. All right, but I have to let all of this dry. And then do we want to give her a border? We could give her a border, couldn't we? I mean, why not, right? We could just put skinny parts right there next to her. Yeah, let's give her a border. I haven't done a border in a long time. We're doing a border. So let's see. Do I want her to have a border? Do I not want to have her? It's, I feel a little claustrophobic with the border now that I've looked at it. So I wonder if A, I could do a thinner border or I cut all of these pieces in half. Would that make me feel better? I don't know. If I did like that and that and then that. Oh, I think this does make me feel a little better. Do I like the skinnier border? 
I much prefer the skinnier border. Okay. Well, that's pretty easy, isn't it? All right, so let's do that. So one will have a border, one will have, let's put it this way, one will have a magazine border, and then one will have a drawn on border. And maybe I could stencil it or, so that's what we're gonna do. And then when it all dries, we're gonna doodle on it. How is everyone, are we okay? We're getting through the week, is everything good? Don't forget, there is a very fun thing happening on Saturday. There's a live stream, don't miss it. Well, I mean, unless you're like, have something else to do that's probably you know more important in which case it's okay to miss it because there'll be a uh you know a replay hanging out for you to watch at any time darcy's gonna join me hi darcy i'm so excited it's from a birthday and i've almost hit 2,000 subscribers so if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this if you could hit subscribe that would be awesome just so i can hit 2,000 subscribers by my birthday i'm just trying to hit that little milestone it would be like a little birthday present to me you don't have to buy me anything. Just hit that subscribe button. You can even like, you know, unsubscribe later when you're like, ugh, I didn't want this lady's videos in my feed. What's happening? What was I thinking? Was I drinking? I'm kidding. I know, self-deprecating humor is not fun. I mean, sometimes it can be, but you know, you shouldn't do it. It's not kind to your brain. <sighs> okay, mom. So, uh, Saturday, at 9 a.m. Pacific. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Darcy will be here. Uh, Darcy will be here. We're gonna to stream together. We'll both be on video. You'll be able to see our faces even, I know. I'm a little worried about that part. Um, but I do need to go get my hair cut. I'm going to get my hair cut on Thursday, so I'll have a brand new haircut, but you won't be able to see it because I always wear knitted hats. So it'll just be a haircut under a knitted hat. It's fine. I make the knitted hats. I make lots of knitted hats. I have so many knitted hats. It's kind of ridiculous, but I love them. It's like fast and easy. You know, like a quilt takes a while. There's lots of steps. Collage is sort of instantaneous. You know, you can sit down and go, I want to make a thing. And then you make the thing. And then you're like, I made a thing. Hooray. Hooray for the thing. And, um, Knitting is like, oh, I can sit in front of the TV and I can make this hat that I can wear and it will keep me warm and cozy. And who doesn't like being warm and cozy? Okay, I kind of love this. I really do. Okay, so her border, we're gonna draw something on maybe because I'm gonna draw her some like wild hair. That's my plan for her. There we go, yeah. And then I'll probably color in her neck somehow. Okay, yes. So I'm gonna try to do her eyes on camera because I just watched today Tara's, like, I don't know, it was like an hour and a half long, I think, um, on how to make big-eyed paper doll girls. And I wanna see if I remember it. So first off, these are the acrylic markers. They don't make this kind anymore. They, it's under another, you know, Chinese brand. Um, I actually prefer the white one over the, the Posca marker because it is a more opaque paint and I don't have to shake it up as much and like prime it. And I feel like the Posca white markers are a little annoying because a lot of times it'll just be the acrylic base and not the, um, the actual paint in there. So um, I got to put some paints away that you can't see, but you're going to hear and be like, what is happening over there? Just paint. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to remember Okay, this is what Tara said she did. She said she comes all the way up here. She keeps this. And then this one comes up. And she keeps that. Okay. So the bottom stays the same. You just come out to give her bigger irises. So you start at the bottom and you come out like that. I'm going to start at the bottom and then come out and up. Out and up. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom, to the bottom, down. And the one thing that Tara tells you all the time is it's just paint and it's opaque. So if you make a mistake, you're just going to paint over it and it's going to be fine. Okay, well, let's flip her around so I can see if her eyeballs look somewhat correct. And they do. I feel like that needs to be a little weird. Eh, maybe I didn't make it much better. It's okay. We're going to leave it alone. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So we got to let this dry. And then I'm going to outline with a 
black marker. And I do like the black Poscos. All right, let's see. It's not quite dry yet. While we are waiting on that to dry, we could get a pencil and see what do we want her hair to look like. So I've been doing a lot of bobs lately. Let me see if I can find the page where I, yes. So I've been making like bobs lately. Um, I haven't finished this page because I'm not, I want something here, but I don't know what yet. And I don't think that I've done any more. See, she got a bob. Still working on her. All right. So do we want to do a bob or do we want to do like really long flowy hair? Because I could like come off of her like that. And we could do like that. Oh, maybe I'll do that. Because then it feels like her hair is kind of moving with her body. Okay, so let's do that. So now I'm going to trace what I just drew with Posca. Ooh, did I put my... No, okay. I think that paint's dry, so we're good. But what I don't want to do is I don't want to like really wrestle control of this pen. Because... I have found that when I draw things and I hold the pen pretty loosely and with, and I look in, let me turn this. I'm gonna look ahead of where my pen tip is. I'm not looking right at where my pen tip is. I'm looking at where I want my pen tip to go. And I learned this from riding horses. And it works in drawing too. Because if you look where you want to go, that's where you're gonna take that pen. Oh, that's great. It totally looks like she's like whoosh. And then she needs to like, she'll have to have a wisp of hair or something. We'll have to figure out something. All right, let's give her some eyeliner. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to come up here and we're gonna give her some eyeliner. I don't know why I went out there. Probably because I'm not paying attention. There we go. And then over here. I was never good with makeup. Never my jam. I always wanted to wear it and then when I could I was like, ugh, I think I hate it. And then I couldn't understand why I hate it because I thought I was supposed to love it and it's a whole the whole problem. Okay, what color eyes do we want to, you know what, we want to give her green eyes. This nice lady wants bright green eyes, okay? So now what I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to do a U and I feel like, I feel like Tara, no, maybe she doesn't. I'll have to rewatch her video. Do a U. Okay, did it. And then we're gonna need these to dry. And then we will definitely have to go back over the tops. But we need to let this dry and then I gotta go over it again. So while that's drying, I think I want to start working on her eyes. So what I wanna do is I wanna come from the bottom and go up, down, down. Over, down, okay, there we go, and then I'm going to come up, down, over, up, down, over. She's pretty squinty. How can we unsquint her? I mean, if we went down, we could definitely unsquint her, but I'm going to go up and see if I can unsquint her that way. Okay, and then I'm gonna give her blue eyes because look at all the blue. What other color would there be? Okay, I need to fix this white right here. It's not coming up far enough. Here we go, little dot. 
All right, so now they have much bigger eyes. So now I'm going to put that line back in, put that line in, put this line back in, put this line in. Okay. And she's about dry, so. And then over here. Zoop. Zoop. All right. And then I want to outline her eyes just like so. There we go. Dunzo. Remember, she has sad eyes. That's why her eyes look funky. All right, and then we want to go over this one with green again. And you have to be careful because your Posca markers on a magazine book will take up the paint and the marker, or the magazine page. So I'm actually dabbing, and I have a lot of paint on here. And now I'm just going to try to paint this in with little dabs because the paint pooled. So that's okay. I want it to be opaque. So now I'm gonna leave it alone and let that dry. Her blue looks good. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna give her a black part of her eyes. Went a little far over there. That's okay. All right, I gotta let that dry, and then I have to put in the little catch lights. That's what the white spots are on eyeballs. They're called catch lights. But all that needs to dry first. I need to see if I like any of these eyelashes. Oh, they're just kind of dark, aren't they? That's a shame. Maybe I can use them. All right, let's color in her neck. All right. So I'm not trying to like make this a masterpiece or have it be super special. I'm just putting color down. And that's her neck and this is her hair. And what color should her hair be? I think it should be a this, a similar color to her dress. Why do I feel that way? I don't know. Okay, these are the same colors, right? Ruby red. Maybe she needs ruby red hair. Or pink. I really like the pink with this color. Although the ruby red goes with this color too. So this one I have used. This one I have used. Hmm. Interesting. I don't remember any of this. All right. So we're just gonna give her some hair. This is the first time I've done long hair. I don't I don't really do long hair. I don't have long hair because I don't like having to mess with long hair personally. It's my own personal preference. My mother would never let me get short hair. She did let me get a bob once. It was terrible. I just looked ridiculous, but I think she kind of wanted me to look ridiculous so that I would let my hair grow out, which I did. Her plan worked. Mom won Laura Zero at that point in time. Don't worry, I got her back as a teenager. Just coloring this in and I'm sure that it's fascinating, so I'll fast forward. Okay, so I had a little mishap here, and that's okay. I've got a little brush. I sprayed a little water on it so that it's not totally dry. I'm going to take this paint and paint it in to her hair. It's all okay. The world did not end. Nothing bad has happened. We're all still here. The world is still spinning. I don't know how the world is still spinning either. This is a huge mistake, but it is, it's still spinning. We've got a little dot of paint here and this is gonna be okay because we're gonna doodle and maybe we make some doodles that look like that. So now we have moved from a Posca pen to a paintbrush and I'm not great with a paintbrush, but that's okay. I've been taking some classes. We'll get it figured out. It's just paint. We can paint over things. No need to worry, we'll get it. I also have paint on my mat. I don't even know what just happened. I feel like that there might've been a little Posca explosion. 
But now that we have all this paint, we can go over in a large swath these areas that the marker didn't get so great. And then I can pick up some more paint and I'm just going to paint along her neck like so. I did not realize that this paint color was actually going to be like redhead color. It's really good. I mean, I knew there was going to be red, but this is a great color of hair, isn't it? Super cute. Oh, it's adorable. <gasps> Y'all, I love this. Okay. I'm going to carefully uncap this, make sure that I don't have paint everywhere. I'm going to, yep, that's what I wanted to do and what I thought might happen. Uh, but I'm finding that I actually like painting with the brush better than using the marker, so that's what we're doing. We're doing it the old-fashioned way. We're earning it. Speaking of the 80s, remember that guy? It's like some sort of business banker spokesperson or something. I don't even remember. Can't remember because... I didn't really care. I did think Miami Vice was cool, but my mom wouldn't let me watch it. Doing it, doing it, doing it. Getting it done. Everything's okay. It's okay, we'll redraw in our black lines. Give her some little bangs. Okay, this Posca paint goes on forever. Okay, she looks a little bit like Tori Amos, uh, but you know, like a little mixed up Tori Amos. More than usual, I guess. All right, this paint pen is definitely having some issues. Okay, let me go put this in water. Okay, I've put the Posca marker back so that it doesn't cause us any problems. All right, let's go to doing the black on her eyes, but this is wet. Actually, her eyes are still wet. This one is not, but this is wet, so I'm not going to do that. She needs little catch lights in her eyes. Well, that one's very big. So what have we learned? Uh, we learned that I got paint all over here somehow. I don't even know how I got the white paint on here. Weird. Uh, we learned that you should do things that make you giggle. So when you match people together, they should giggle. You should giggle. They should giggle. I mean, they could giggle too, but if, if the magazine cutouts are giggling, we may have some things to discuss. So like I cut out these ladies and for her, I found this purse, which actually makes a really posh hat. So... I feel like she's going to have to go in something. I found this for a tummy. So maybe, you know, this could be the neck. So I got that. Uh, I almost put this lady with this dress, but I'm not sure that I'm going to do that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. This may actually go on a junk journal thing. Maybe just in a page, in a spread. Maybe not even in a paper doll. Let's see. I think we are dry enough. That was the wrong color. So now that one doesn't dry anymore. Okay, there's one. And then we're gonna see if we can get this other one. If my head has been in the way, I will edit around that. So if there's been some weird editing, it's because my head was in the way. Because when I doodle, I have to like get down in there because I can't see. And this is where Carrie is gonna leave me a note and say, I told you to go to the eye doctor and get your bifocals. And I'm gonna say, I know, but I haven't had time. Why are all of my pens suddenly Barfing. Stop barfing, pens. Stop barfing. Okay, I need the nib to get that in there. Okay, I gotta leave that alone because that pen barfed and that's a little puddle. And I need to fix this lady's eyeball. So, fix that because that needed to be covered up. And then I need to come in with some blue here. There we go. That's better. And then once that dries, I can put the catch light back in again. She really does look like Tori Amos, and that makes me giggle. I've also started looking for words. So I have this. It says, made you look, which I thought about. Oh, well, that kind of looks good there, doesn't it? Hmm. And then I could doodle it. <sighs> this all feels very advanced for me, but I feel like this is the level I need to be in. I feel like that I have graduated from 101, and I was like, oh, no, I was comfortable in 101. What am I doing this 102, or this 201 class, rather? And then, um, yeah, is there a 102? I'll take a 102 class. Uh, because I can't even remember to put my glue top back on, and so I'm fairly certain that I have been promoted a little early and uh, prematurely. So maybe we can just move me back down into, you know, like the remedial collage lady level. Uh, I will doodle this off camera. I'll come back. I'll fix my glue. 
We'll figure it all out. It'll be okay. <sighs> I just bent the pen to my glue. It's not gonna be okay, y'all. And we're back. Okay, here we go. I doodled. Are you ready? Here it is. So, um, because we had her going Diane Reevely with the neck, I did some Diane Reevely inspired teardrops. Uh, they probably should have been going this way, but that's fine. I didn't know how to draw her clothes on. I don't have a great idea yet. I did color in her diamond for her little belt there, I guess. And we did a border around it. Um, I sort of took some colors that were in here and moved them over here, like the blue. And then this peach color is the same. Um, there's yellow here, there's yellow here, there's yellow up here. So I tried to kind of make it so they flowed a little bit better. Uh, for her, I so the eyebrows I am just working on and getting used to doing eyebrows. I didn't, I don't think I've done eyebrows before. Um, so, you know, I'm going to keep doing it until it feels better and I'm much better at it. So if you remember, this, where is, this lady had a purse and I want to show you. So this is the original ad that we used and she had a purse. And so what I did was I obviously colored out the purse. So now she doesn't have a purse. She just has on, it looks like she has on, you know, some sort of like dress and then maybe a sweatshirt over it or something. Um, all I did was when I was coloring, I just took this line here and I just ran it down. Same thing for this line. I just ran it to connect and that's her arm. And then I could paint around it so that I was able to paint around the purse and now there's no purse. Ta-da! Doodled around the border on her and I gave her a little headband. She kind of looks, now I think she looks a little bit like Wonder Woman. Uh, so I think that that's cool. I gave them eyelashes. I didn't get to use my fancy eyelashes, but I could still, I could still use them actually. Maybe I'll glue some on her. I don't think I'll glue them on her, but they actually look really good on her, don't they? I like that idea a lot. Which ones do we want? Looks like the only ones I have a matching pair of are these. I don't know if this is correct. Do they go that way? Sort of. Okay. Well, maybe she gets the eyebrow, the eyelashes. That would be funny. Okay. I am going to put these on her because I do so love them. They are adorable. Uh, so I edited the beginning of this video already. And I have to tell you, I saw... I saw that scene where my marker explodes and it really did look kind of like a murder scene. <laughs> so it was pretty dramatic. So hopefully uh, you got through that and found it as funny as I did because holy smokes was it a mess, but it was funny. So no big deal. No markers were harmed in the making of this video. There we go. There's our ladies. They're so great. There's gonna be more. I can't get enough of it. I just keep wanting to do magazine collage. I may do something with her hair later. These are never done. I do them and then I'm like, okay, I don't know what to do now. I move on. One day I'll be flipping through and I'll be like, oh, you know, she, her hair needs to be hot pink and it should look like this and da, 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 da. And then that's what I'll do. So, all right, that's it. Thanks so much. Don't forget, there's a live stream on Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern U.S. time. I don't know what time that is across the pond. I'm sorry. There's like time zone converters on the internet. We, we have computers to solve problems. That's when we'll be live. Darcy's going to join me. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to celebrate my birthday. 2,000 subscribers. Hopefully I'll be close, if not there. So if you haven't subscribed yet, it would be really awesome if you could subscribe before Saturday so that I really would have 2,000 and we can just make it a real full celebration for 2,000 subscribers. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day.